Hi everyone! Happy Saturday! A beautiful day, the sun's shining, and so am I. <laughs> um, I'm going to be cooking later. Uh, somebody asked me if I cook, I would cook the red lobster chicken casserole thing. So I'm going to cook that today for Saturday dinner. So I froze my, uh, let me bring you over here and show you. I froze my chicken, my rotisserie chicken from last week. And I uh, got the oven on. I'm just going to heat it up in the oven. There's a, a leg missing. <laughs> and, uh, and I took out some of my chicken broth and I defrosted it a bit. Because I never remembered to take it out. And then, um, we're just going to, it just needs to be heated up, right? So I'm going to put it in the oven for about an hour just to heat it up and get it soft. And then we'll uh, make the red lobster biscuit casserole, whatever you call it. I don't know what you know what you call it. Yeah. Well, this is in the oven. I'm going to sit down and do be, be doing some coloring and you guys can come join me. I forgot I'm going to put in a little bit of the uh, magical stuff. Better than bowling. Put about uh, a scoop of that in there. Yeah. Okay, so this is what I'm coloring right now. Isn't that nice? All the quilts and the chickens. This is what I already colored. It's in my other book. I colored her. Isn't that nice? <laughs> and I colored this. Reminds. Oh. My phone died. My phone died? Sorry, my phone died. I'll show you the rest of my my other coloring in a second. I have to get the chicken out of the oven. There's a fly in here. November and it's a fly. There's a little fly in the house. Okay. She looks good in the... Uh, And they're all cooked up. And we're going to let her sit and cool down. And we'll, uh, uh, debone it all. Yeah, I ran out of energy. My phone died, so I had to go put it on the charger, and now I'll, I'm going to get some chips and dip, and uh, we're going to let this cool down, and we're going to have some chips and dip while it cools down, and then we'll debone it all. So let's get some chips. Chips and dip. Oh, I still have a... I have one ghost plate left. <laughs> I'm just going to eat them right out of the bag. These are so good. Jalapeno ranch. I'm going to just put my chip dip in a bowl. Then I can... Uh, I don't have to throw me that last plate. Find the chip dip. Oh, there it is. Here it is. I think I'm going to have a cold one, too. Have a cold one, too. 
It looks like it's warm out, but it's still a little chilly out there. <laughs> yeah, I gotta go let the girls out soon and take care of Jethro. It's November and people think, oh, Canada's probably snowing in Canada. Not around here. Not in these parts of southern Ontario, Canada. No. Okay, let's go have some chips and dip while our chicken cools down. Okay. Um, yeah, I was showing you, I showed you the one picture, I showed you this one, and I also, yeah, did I, I was showing you this while I was, while I got, while I died, my camera died, so yeah, this reminds me, many times we were in the yard breaking leaves with Nate in the, in our uh, golden retriever and our our yellow lab and yeah good times but now we keep the leaves and we just let them mulch into the grass and into the garden it 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 uh helps give the mulch don't throw your leaves away let them mulch in your yard and then i wanted to show you when i'm re what are you doing my new books oh you're back they had these on sale for nine bucks, two bucks off. Oh, so two thirty got... off, so I bought two. Okay. So now I got three. Okay. Here's your letter or your. <laughs> okay, Cindy from Alaska sent me a card, and she kept asking, "Is it there yet? Is it there yet? It's here! It's here, Cindy." I'm gonna just put you up a little. I feel like my head's chopped up. I tried washing the vehicle. Yeah. Oh, it was full. What do you mean? Oh, the car wash? Yeah, the car wash was full. Because the sun's out. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful day. Beautiful. A little chilly, eh? No. Chilly? I think it's a little chilly. Oh, if you're in the sun, it's beautiful. Uh, are you going out there to work? Nope. Well, I'm you... going to just sit around today and color. I'm a colorer, okay? I enjoy it. Um. Look it. I'm hungry. Got anything well, to eat? Make yourself a sandwich. <laughs> uh, when you go out there. Are you doing a live? No. Hi, people. I should go live to tell Cindy the card came. When you go out there, let the girls out to wander. No, because the hawks are around. Yeah, if you're out there. Ha Happy Halloween! It arrived, Cindy, just a couple days later. Okay? It's okay. Well, you should see what I got. What? In my truck the other night. What? The rich people? Yeah. Throwing out all their mums. All their mums? Yeah, they are got, they... And they're all green still. Are they flowered? Yeah, but they're all green. <laughs> the big ones. Well, I will go out there and you can show us later. Michelle, Bruce, and Nate. Very special that you hope... Very special that you hope your Halloween will be too. Wishing you a fun-filled Halloween. Mine was. I got to go to work. <laughs> and me and Nate, we went out. We didn't film yeah. though. We just they went around and they painted the town. Orange. No, we didn't. We went. Where did we go? Kentucky Fried Chicken. We went Burger to the. Chicken. We went to town. Nate wanted to go to Walmart, so we went to Walmart. Got a few things. Then he wanted to go to the bulk store uh, to get a couple things because he had a $5 gift card. So he went there. And then we went to uh, those are my favorite. There's all kinds of chips in there. You can go get your own bag. Don't, I don't want you. It's half a bag. Look at people. Anyways, can you, you stop interrupting me? People find that rude when you interrupt I'm me. sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. 
And then we went to LaSalle. He got his Kentucky Fried Chicken. And then I ordered um, Chinese food in town. Then when we... So he went to... Uh, yeah. And then... And then we... Uh, I called when we were in LaSalle and I ordered our Chinese food. I got my Chinese food and I just come home and I enjoyed watching some a movie. I forget what I, what I watched. And then um, we had leftover Chinese food yesterday and Bruce and I... How many uh, Monk episodes did we watch? I don't About know, five. They were, there. they were really good. We're on season three now. Yeah, season three. So you want to show them something you got when you were out? To support the people that fought for our country, I bought a poppy. Oh, a nice bracelet. Plus we forget. So we never ever forget about the people that fought to so we have freedoms. Let's they look at the bracelet. Can I wear it? It's for you. Oh, it's for me? He knows I always lose my poppy. No matter what, I lose my poppy. You won't it lose falls, your bracelet. Falls off. You won't lose your bracelet. They had this. They had... Uh, oh, what is... <laughs> they had little uh, pins. Uh-huh. So, whatever you donated. So, I went in the Canadian Tire. I bought my poppy. And then when I was... In a giving mood, I uh, I gave them some money for this. At first, I wasn't going to take anything. He says, "Well, these bracelets for that you can have." And I thought of you. I should have got Nate one because Nate likes that stuff too. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll get him one when I see them again. I called you and you never answered your phone. What'd you want? I'm done with, I'm all out of the paper plates for Halloween. Oh. Now I gotta get Christmas ones. <clears throat> but of course you didn't answer your phone. Well, so tomorrow you. I'll bring you guys out and we'll go get it's our... It's gonna rain tomorrow anyway. So maybe, <coughs> we'll go tomorrow. Maybe, maybe we'll go for a little ride tomorrow. We'll go get our paper plates. I need to stock. I like to have them. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to sneeze. I'm not going to sneeze. Oh, I didn't get you anything. <coughs> okay, what was I saying? What was I saying? Well, we'll take you guys out and we'll go, go get the paper plates. And get your paper plates. Yeah, because I like to have that for lunch, you know. I like a little break. You, Yeah, you don't like doing dishes because if you got to do dishes, it's cutting in your color time. It's That's cutting right. in your puzzle I'm time. I'm retired and I like to color, so if I use paper plates for lunch, it's not going to hurt anybody. If paper plates are going to make you happy, we'll oh. buy you paper plates. I'll put your card up for a bit. On the, I, took off, I I put away all the fall things. <laughs> I'm ready to start cleaning up. Don't say it. What? Don't say it. What? Oh, I'm going to give I, it a few days. Yeah, I'll give it I a wanna few days. I want to do some cleaning. Oh, Christmas time. You're not going back out. You just come in. You were out there for an hour. What I got? She doesn't want that. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it, Daddy. Anyways. Oh, oh I was gonna Somebody wants to say hi. <laughs> Rhyme, everybody. She needs a bath. I'm a renner. I'm a renner in that dog. <laughs> yeah, I want to call her mama. Let me call her. She's so cute. Daddy, she's so cute. We're so lucky. We're so lucky. Everybody send me treats. <laughs> I love you. My subscribers. <laughs> Rappy Ratterday. I love you, girl. I love you all it's so much. Yes, it's I do. <laughs>
Okay. So I was going to show you the books I got. He cracked this open. Give me that. Give me that. I can't have it. Oh, that chicken smells good. You stay out of it. Mm -hmm. I'm making dinner with I'm going to rip its legs off. No, you already ripped one off. No, I didn't. One's missing. No, I, I had that in the freezer after you ripped it off. I got two books. Uh, I'm not. I'm not sure which one I'm going to start reading first. I'm thinking more towards this one here. This is called The Boyfriend. Is anybody reading this right now? <clears throat> Sydney Shaw, like every single woman in New York, has a terrible luck with dating. She's seen it all: men who lie in their dating profile, men who stick her with the dinner bill. And worst of all, men who can't shut up about their mothers. But finally, she hits the jackpot. Her new boyfriend is utter utterly perfect. He's charming, handsome, and works as a doctor at a local hospital. Sydney is swept off her feet. Then the brutal murder of a young woman, the latest in the string of deaths across the coast, confounds... confounds Confounds police. The primary suspect, a mystery man who dates his victims before he kills them. Sydney should feel safe. After all, she is dating the man of her dreams, but she can't shake her own suspicions that the perfect man may not be as perfect as he seems because someone is watching her every move. And if he does, if she doesn't get to the truth, she'll be the killer's next victim. Victim. In a dark story about obsession, the things we do for love. It's a New York Times bestseller. Proves that crime of passion are often the bloodiest. So I got that one. Then I got this one, the trip. The trip. There's no lunch meat in there. Well, you can have some turkey sausages and That's what cheese. I got here. And then there's hummus uh, in there. Ah, uh, hummus. <laughs> this one here is a thrilling page turner where everyone has secrets with a killer twist. Four friends on vacation of a lifetime. Until a, uh, until a vicious murder shatters their paradise. Four friends who do anything for each other until now. Only one of them committed a crime. But all four know how to keep a secret. And they're all guilty of something. The trip. So that sounded really good. So those are my two books. You have a peanut butter chocolate for dessert. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to go color while you were charging on the phone. I know what? started to color the quilts. What? When I was out? Uh-huh. I had to see about five Broncos. <laughs> Crazy. And wherever I parked. I parked in Canadian Tire. There was a Bronco there. I parked in the Shoppers Drug Mart. I left. There's a Bronco there. Everywhere a Bronco. Here a Bronco. There a Bronco. Everybody better want a lot of Bronco. Well. Cheers. For 0% financing, you can't go wrong, you know. Your payments aren't that high. They're reasonable. <sighs> so all, all not not all vehicles are zero percent financing. And everybody that used to have an escape is buying a Bronco because it's basically the same uh, format. I think for the frame and that and the squareness. Or, the new brown, the new, uh, that's kind of rude. Well, 
The new what? No, the new the new uh, escape is like the mean square. It's like meow, like an egg shape. I've never seen a square escape before. What are you talking about? You drinking? Back in the day, they were square. The girl at work had one. Don't tell me. You for your chip. Subscribers know what I'm talking about. Anyways, I'm learning so much on this Bronco. You're driving. Automatically puts your brights on when nobody's in front of you. And it's just like, ah, you can see everything in sight. And then when someone's coming towards you, it shuts them off, eh, huh? It's like, ah. <laughs> this car does everything for you. Uh-huh. The only thing it doesn't do is pay it. Pay your bill. If it starts to rain, it automatically puts your windshield wipers on. Crazy. <laughs> and if somebody starts screaming inside or arguing inside the vehicle, the radio automatically comes on. What are you talking about? <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> you are, you're like, you're gonna believe like, me. Where who is arguing with you in the car but you and you're by yourself? No, when I'm there with somebody I love. <laughs> when I want to go to the thrift store and she don't want to. <laughs> Whatever is that? Never. Only when you gotta go pee. We gotta go. We gotta go pee. I'm getting stuck home every weekend, so you can work on this damn truck. You could <laughs> go on your own. You could go paint the round. round That's red. no fun, hon. We'll be back. Okay, you guys. I had to go put the chickens away because there's hawks. I can feel it. I haven't seen any, but the birds are gone. Freaking hawks, man! They ruined my day. Um, so you're going to start, we're going to make this red lobster chicken cobbler, okay? So you're going to need a pack of the red lobster mix. We're going to put in our pan a half a cup, a stick of butter if you have a stick, but in Canada we don't. We do, but you can pay a fortune for the sticks, the butter that are in sticks. I don't know why all seems like all of America, all their butter is just in sticks. Not like Canada. We gotta buy the whole pound together in order to get a deal. Okay, so we're gonna put that in our pan that we're using and just using this pan to cook it all in. Put that in the oven so the butter melt, melts, okay? Okay. So that goes in the oven for a minute. We're going to take our mix here and we're going to mix it with two cups of milk, okay? So, let me get the scissors. A, a subscriber asked if I could make this again on camera, so... I have everything I need to make it, so I thought, well, that's perfect for an easy Saturday dinner. And then you're going to take the flavor packet here and put it out in two. And you're just going to add two cups of milk to that. If I can get it all out. Okay. Okay, so I had two cups of milk. And mix that up really good. Actually, I'm going to use a fork. I think that would mix nice with a fork. Just give it a good mix. I'm going to go mix this up really good. 
you just put that aside okay I think our butter's probably melted now uh, almost we'll get our peas and corn out now now you can use uh, you can use a bag of mixed vegetables but I just use corn and carrot and peas cranberry sauce out. That'll be nice with it. I got some frozen cranberry sauce in the freezer. Okay. Let me get a cup for this. So use just a small bag of vegetables or make your own. <laughs> we love peas and corn, so it'll be just fine. melted by now. Yeah, it's melted. Okay. Uh, okay. The butter's melted. Now we're going to add our chicken. A whole rotisserie chicken or you can make your own chicken. But if you're looking for a fast, easy meal, just use a rotisserie chicken. Okay. Then we're going to put in, so you got the melted butter on the bottom. I'll bring you over my shoulder. Okay, so this is where you're going to add, I added the butter, the chicken, now the, uh, the peas and corn, or a bag of mixed vegetables, whatever you want. Okay, now you're going to add your creamy biscuit mix here. Add that. Spread that around the top. Okay. I'm gonna get a spatula. A spatula. Okay. Well, I thought I mixed that well, but I guess I didn't. Looks a little dry. <laughs> That's okay. Okay. Then you're going to take two cups of chicken broth, and then you're going to add to that one can of cream of chicken. I picked up some cream of chicken soup to have on hand when I need it in the recipe because, oh, this has a crack in it. Oh. 
because uh, I'll have to throw that one away. Look, it has a crack in it. Um, it's easier than making it yourself. Okay, I should have mixed that in better, but it was starting to leak all over. <laughs> you know my videos, you always get something where Michelle messes up. Yeah, I wouldn't be considering myself perfect, that's for sure. And nobody is. <laughs> Nobody's perfect. What you're going to do is cook this in an oven, 350 degree oven, for 45 to 50 minutes, okay? I'm going to get all this chicken, cream of chicken soup out. Yeah. Okay, so in the oven it goes, but this is easy if you're having a big crowd coming over. Just throw this on, throw, cook up some biscuits or bread and a side vegetable and you're all set for your dinner. <laughs> we'll see you when it comes out of the oven. Okay guys, here it is. Chicken cobbler. Chicken cobbler? And then I got some cranberry sauce. Ooh. And that's, I'm just having that. I'm not cooking an extra vegetable on After the side. After working out there, that's a good, wholesome meal. Yeah. Okay, let's dish this dinner up. Uh, you want a pop? Uh, no, I think I'm going to have my... Can you check and see if my water is full? That's what I'm going to Mine went over an hour. <laughs> I was like, mm. probably added too much of the chicken broth, but uh, you know what? I didn't want to waste it, so I just threw it all in. Okay. So then... I'm just going to put the cranberry sauce on top, on the side. <laughs> It'll be good with cranberry sauce. Yeah. Can you pass me the salt and pepper, please? Salt and pepper? Yeah. Here's your salt. Here's your pepper. didn't put any salt and pepper in. Uh-oh. What? You're slipping. Okay. Hmm? Okay, let's go give this a try. Which one's mine? Which one's bigger? I that don't know. Well, then big. take that one. His wife's got to have the Bronco. Okay. As you can see, it's dark already. It's only like six o'clock i think it is so we're just gonna give this a try with a little cranberry oh is it ever delicious is it good mm -hmm. mm. it's one of our favorite easy recipes what is it chicken what cobbler it's like the red lobster biscuit mix. It's good. All mm -hmm. that you used to make the base? Yeah, I've made it before, but a subscriber asked if I could make it again on video, so I did. Thank you, subscriber. <laughs> okay. Hey, put them on. That's a, we're gonna watch Monk. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah. We're gonna go watch Monk. We and get Monkified. Uh, finish my coloring. Call it a night. We hope you had a good Saturday, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Say good night, hun. Good night, everyone. I hope you had a wonderful Sunday, Saturday. Good night. <laughs>